Hello, Gustav. A couple of guys were joking around. They found someone's old earthquake supply kit in one of our buildings today. And the thing is packed with dry foods. We're going to have a feast of oatmeal tonight. Ah, we can take them out that way as well. Sweet. That won't take very long at all. Two survivors can live here. Well, it counts now that they aren't making them anymore. Save a lot of ammo if our soldiers close in on zombies before they start shooting. But I, for one, feel way safer shooting those efforts from top of a building, even if I miss most of the time. Which ammo should we use? We use ammo at regular rate. Guns still aren't very useful if we ever run out. We can change this policy later. I met a couple of very cautious brothers who were living in nearby suburbs. They spoke to us at the crack of a door, kept asking funny questions about our food supply. Specifically, they want to make sure we don't eat our dead. I'm not sure how to answer that. We've never eaten people. Tony, we've been lucky it has never come to that. Our fort has a good source of food, and we've always made it through the times of hunger with our morals intact. They seem satisfied with that and agreed to join us. Fred Farm Boy. What's his primary ability? He is also a leader. He's got a nice vest on. And we have Sergeant Farm Boy. He is a defender. He's got a cool, like, leg race thingy. Leg, leg guard thingy on. Alright, well, we'll put these two together here. Um, what do we got here? Uh, we'll put you here. And guard. Ah, not what I meant to do. You stay here. You are our primary. Guardian of the internal workings of the fort. It's already been scouted. We found the materials, kill some Yermbees, and Diane, you guys come along. It's 
I want to get Diane trained higher for fighting. The eight of us are starting to see some progress here in Seattle. We claimed enough buildings that you can actually go for a little jog around the neighborhood. Think of that. Running for fun. Not for your life. Exercise, recreation, spandex, running shorts. These are the things we are looking forward to. Alright, so... Where's Builder McBuilder? Builder McBuilder. Builder McBuilder. Place it with a farm or an apartment. How are we doing on food right now? We're gaining 1.5 per day. Let's build another farm. Kill some Yermbies. I don't exactly know what chop wood does. Three men at the gates asking for help. My lord's limping and holding a bloody rag around his neck, but he won't let us look at the wound. They want to patch him up for with some of our medicine and stay the night. Exchange will teach us a few things about construction. Those are quite honest looking men, but I suspect the one with the wound is being bitten. Should we help him? Two healthy ones. Rory and Diego said, gave us well, welcome advice on putting up basic buildings the old fashioned way. Without modern power tools, we should be able to build bars, churches, workshops, and labs now. During the night, I woke to screams and gunfire as their friend had quietly died and then returned and attacked them. So the farm boy put him down before anyone was hurt, but it cost us valuable ammunition. The remaining two left at dawn without a word. I don't understand what this does. I guess we just get more materials over time. Oh yeah, they're over there. Okay. So we're at 50 food right now. Let's wait around and see if something happens here. Let's not wait around. Let's be on guard duty. Gustav visited a day with Madame Rita, a very large and sultry woman in a revealing burlesque outfit and a top hat. She presented a little roulette wheel with slots painted black and red and one labeled jackpot. Rita centrally rubbed two casino chips between her fingers and wiggled her eyebrows at me. Minimum bet is ten food. Care to try your luck? Fine. Klein saying I didn't think survival was a game. Read it back to layer things. Mm -hmm. 
zombies are messing around with all day. Tell how dangerous firecrackers are. Sergeant so Farm Boy found a discarded box of stuff over killing the his face. I think it should be okay in a few days, but it will be a while before the gun before he stops <laughs> smelling like gunpowder. Uh, less happiness, one injured survivor. Burgers Dean threw an old dumpster when a raccoon went after him. I think he must have been sick because within a couple of minutes he was hallucinating and yelling at the walls. If we can find a bed and quarantine for good measure. If we had a hospital, we might have been able to avoid this. All I can say is I hope it's not rabies because you don't recover from rabies. Alright, let's let this attack happen. Seriously? This is easy mode, I don't understand. Alright, so... Let's kill some zombies. But the only people... The only living people left in this city. There's no telling how many people we meet out there that are going to threat our scavengers and soldiers. Sometimes they greet us with shots of joy, sometimes with warning shots, sometimes it might be the best to shoot first. I met people the last two years who would just as soon kill me as take my stuff. And take my stuff as I like, have a conversation. I've also had my life saved by a total stranger. We should size up new people cautiously before we invite them into the fort. We can change this policy later. <coughs> okay, do I have the farmer with me? I need the farmer with these guys. You guys are going to be here rebuilding. Oops. Zombie mob spotted. Great. Oops, no. Whole bunch less Zed to worry about, that's good. We just spotted a transport helicopter flying above Seattle's skyline like some sort of camo-colored angel coming to lift us out of, night out of this nightmare and then it sputtered, spiraled, and came crashing down to earth just like all of our dreams. Demolished the Mega Mall and landed on... There might be something to salvage from the crash site. Maybe even survivors? That's definitely zombies attracted... Er, and definitely zombies attracted by the noise. 
Not sure if we should send a scavenger, a leader, or a soldier, or all three. Where'd that happen at? Oops. Wait until these Yermbies attack. attack so I can do something already. I'm guessing many of the women Gustav rounded up for his love caravan would have chosen a different occupation if the world had more opportunities and fewer ravenous undead. But Gustav reassures us that no one's there against their will. And that the girls like to make man feel strong. Should we hire them to raise men's morale? One of the girls introduced herself as Kitty with a childish giggle. She was obviously too young to be in this line of work, maybe 14 at best. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I was playing it up and wearing her hair and pigtails and clasping a teddy bear. I was disgusted. I forbade her from joining and tried to have a kind of parental chat with the girl instead, but she stomped on my foot and stormed off paddling. Most of the girls just giggled or glanced at the bodyguards and shook their head. Uh, all except Kathleen, a young woman with a wry sense of humor and a rough, short haircut that I suspect she did herself. She told me Gustav could be a brute sometimes, but at least there were regular meals and the bodyguards were there to keep her safe. Except that, from the way they watched her sometimes, she wondered if they actually they were actually there to keep her from running away. Quit doing that. I'm trying to scroll the screen. Oh, seriously? I was gonna say, can this please happen so that we can get done with this part? So I can get back to doing things? Alright, so. Um. That seems a little dangerous, but it's green. the Irish undead, the Banshee. Say you hear its mournful cry and you've been marked for death. I sure hope that's not the case because we've got a zombie screaming its lungs out. How does that work anyway? Outside of the walls of the fort. I don't think it's going to kill anyone if we don't let it in, but it's doing, not doing good things for morale to hear it day in and day out. So we gave us enough time to get around before the angle. Seriously?
Uh, no. I want one fighter on each of these sides. Damn it! I told them what the wall of store mannequins wasn't secure enough. One of the Zed slipped through and spent all day chasing our workers around the fields before we were able to bring the thing down. I don't think anyone in the fort got a lick of work done because of it. Come on, let's go. Come on, one of these guys attack. This is really obnoxious. I'm lonely. We're all lonely. But it's especially hard for me because I'm supposed to be leading the rest of them. Can't show my weakness, but maybe if I found a special someone, I could be honest with them. Should I ask someone on a date? Sand Moon. I've had my eye on her since she joined us. She's friendly, she's eager to help, and a pretty talented soldier. Most importantly, she has nice eyes. She said yes. Where should we go for our first date? far too much work to do. We don't have time for a proper romantic day, but I wanted to spend some time with Diane all the same. We decided to clear out some of the old buildings here that our scavengers hadn't gotten to yet. It was sweaty, exhausting work, hauling out anything that might be useful as building materials, but we hardly noticed. We were far too busy joking and playing and flirting with each other. We didn't want the day to end. Good news is, she doesn't have to. I can assign us to work together any time I like. Thank you! Jeez! Staying outside for 45 friggin' days, what the heck? Get rid of this. and one tool that improve their skills. If you find a piece of equipment in an event, click on the plus one equipment icon to equip it. Okay. We found that goddamn howling zombie in the park and put an end to it. It was in an odd condition. It seems nobody had attacked it with... It seems that somebody had attacked it with a sword at some point, and the fourth thing is now walking around with a blade right through its eye, passing through part of its brain. I suppose that might explain why it, the constant wailing. It didn't even defend itself or try to attack us. It just stood there screaming until we finally put it down. We cleared out the rest of the park while we were at it and kept the sword. Alright, so we got a nice sword now. I don't want to equip it. I already have a weapon. I want someone else to take it. We got... Uh, let's see here. Let's put... He's got a high score. Or high, yeah, he's got a high score right now. He's got a decent enough score that stats that he should probably have a thing. And then she stopped wailing, which affects happiness. Oh, we already got him over here. Good. Who's just found something odd? He was taking some quiet time in our suburb playing jacks with an old tennis ball and some t rusty nails when he stumbled upon some hidden steps covered by debris. The steps led underground to a massive outlight door. Uh, that's. Let's open it. Uh, he's with some people. The door led to someone in Climactomy. It's a musty old storeroom with some crates of ammo. Some medicine and some food. I am not going to turn that down. Alright, so you went that way. Um, let's 
see here. Can't swim. On a related note, I've got a swimming pool. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't so much the shadows of people hidden just around the corner that told Karen Tobar that she was walking into a trap, as it was the whispered comments of closer, just a little closer, coming from behind the large pile of rubble just a few feet away. Should Karen continue scavenging through the square, it could be dangerous. Scratch that, it will be dangerous. Karen slipped in and out of there like a total ninja. I don't even think whoever set the trap ever knew that she was even there. Nicely done, Karen. Alright, so... the group that has the what do you got sixteen It's nice doing business with you sometime. Alright, so let's give this lady. There we go. I glitched out there for a second. Okay. A sledgehammer. Look at that. Alright, so we need you back on tending crops. <gasps> Look at 